Can you really improve your stake game through the Sufi method? I've been watching these videos on YouTube for a while now, so when Lazada's 1111 sale presented me the opportunity to buy a sous vide machine at a bargain, I couldn't pass it up. Hi guys, today we're trying out this sous vide immersion cooker, which cost me around 2,700 pesos or $55 easily half the price or even a third of the price of the popular immersion cookers out there such as ANOVA. Let's find out today if this generic sous vide cooker can stand its ground and make quality steaks. So when I say generic, I really mean generic. There's no indication of any brand on the box nor the actual item so if you're interested in this, I'm listing the link in the description section below. To get your cooking started, fill up a pot of water to about 6 to 8 inches deep. At least enough to submerge a line marked as the minimum. I didn't buy a sous vide container since I knew I could use a variety of pots and containers we already had at home. Just make sure that whatever you're using could withstand moderate heat and is of course deep enough. Once plugged in, it's pretty straightforward to operate. Power on and set your desired cooking temperature and duration. For today, we're cooking our 1.5 inch steak at 54 degrees Celsius for 2 hours and 15 minutes for a medium rare finish. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to reach that temperature so while we wait, let's work on our steak. Today we're using an oyster blade steak, also known as the flat iron steak. This is a cut that I like for its marbling. Seasoning this with just salt and pepper on both sides before we place it into the sous vide bag. By the way, I separately bought this set of 10 reusable sous vide bags that come with a hand pump vacuum for a little over 550 pesos. They say that when you're cooking sous vide, you can do with as little as Ziploc bags and you can even go to the extreme of buying an automatic vacuum sealer. I think these reusable bags and this manual pump would be somewhere in between and are of great value. Whoops! I stopped the pumping since I forgot to include a slice of butter. These are the perks of resealable bags, you can definitely start over. Now that's all set, it's time to vacuum pump until you can see the true colors of the steak through the plastic. The pumping may seem like a lot of work, but it really takes just a few seconds. And our hot bath is just about ready. Our steak is now ready to get some me time to slowly bask in the heat of our sous vide cooker. So that your steak doesn't swim around, it's also helpful to use some clips to have it stay in place. These clips also came with the resealable bag so that's been a real bargain. To maintain its temperature, it also helps to use a cover for your container. I find these placemats flexible and quite effective. With that, there's nothing to do but wait. You can take a nap in these 2 hours or in my case, take some selfies with the sous vide for my thumbnail. After a relaxing 2 hours, our steak is done with its hot bath. This machine is supposed to beep when it's done, but I didn't hear anything. No biggie, I was eagerly awaiting anyway. Taking out the bag, you see all those yummy steak juices continue to marinate the steak for a flavorful finish. Now that we're done with the sous vide, it's time to torch the steaks for that crusty finish that we're all looking for. This is absolutely my favorite part. You could do a pan to your finish, but it just wouldn't be as fun. This is the moment of truth. Have we done justice to this beef? Look at that perfectly even pink that is unmistakably severe. This consistency is what makes slow cooking worthwhile. And kudos to this machine for living up to the hype. As with typical with oyster blade or flat iron steak, there's that, that gristle that runs through the oyster blade which makes it not such a popular choice for steak. But let's see if sous vide is able to tenderize it in such a way that it becomes a more acceptable steak. Cheers guys. Mm. I'm really happy with this steak. It's perfectly cooked, pink all throughout. The torch gave it a good 
uh, crust and I think the next step would be to let Janessa taste this and see how much I've improved my steak skills. The gristle that runs through the oyster blade steak, you don't really taste it being chewy anymore so I think sous vide would be a perfect way to approach oyster blade steak. So yes, so far so good. This sous vide machine is definitely worthwhile. Let's see how it stands the test of time. If I can use it, you know, through month, weeks, months, and even years, hopefully. So I'm gonna be continuing to make steaks and make other food with my new sous vide machine. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be cooking some more. You'll be sure to hear from me in my adventures with steak. Thanks guys, cheers.